Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today it's Stamping Fun with Gail once again. This is the card that we're going to be making. And these are the supplies that you're going to need. First of all, you can get the Elegantly Said. It's in our new catalog. And this is a bundle, save 10%. We will be using the punch. And we will be using um, this flower and this sentiment right here. So let's get started. I used two stamping pad colors. One is Smoky Slate and the other is Basic Gray. So what I did is, you're gonna start out with a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock and it's gonna be four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. Then you're gonna get the elegantly elegant paper that comes with this stamp set and it is gorgeous. Both sides are pretty, but oh, that foil is so pretty, the copper. This is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go on the very top. And then we have uh, the copper, and I forgot the measurement that fast. And it is two by five and a quarter. And the smoky slate is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I just adhered that onto that after I stamped this in the basic gray. The next thing is I took some basic white and I stamped off in the smoky slate and I stamped it again and then I punched it out with our punch and I punched out copper paper in the punch. And how I put these together is I just did glue on the back half of this and I just kind of put it like that to layer it a little bit and adhered it and that was that. The inside is four by five and a quarter. So let's get started making it. It doesn't take too long and it ends up being just beautiful. So I'm using the Stampin' Up! Seal. Oop. Okay, there we go. We're going to put that on the inside. And don't drop it because it's hard to pick up like I just did. So there you go. Nice thing about the sticky is I took that little wrinkle out. So now we're going to do the same thing on the front. We're going to adhere the base, the designer series paper. And I went ahead to save it a little bit of time and I adhered these together. And get this out of the way here so I don't get anything on it and I put mine off to the side so I think that's what we'll do again leaving just a little bit over here and this is going just to the top and the bottom of the designer series paper. It's not going the full length of the card. Then I took this and I took some dimensionals. And I put one right over the two of them. One over here. If any of you know me, you know that I am a dimensional lover. And I went ahead and put a mini up here. So take all of these off and the way I put this on was I took the center of this punch out this right here and I lined that and I wanted it a little bit high so I lined it right there on the center with the copper foil right down there and then we have these beautiful um, black matted jewels and so that's what I'm going to go ahead and put on. And I'm kind of doing different sizes. But so I thought I'd put one down here. And oh, let me see. Put this medium one. 
maybe if I can get a hold of him. <laughs> I think I'll put that little one. I'm going to put him right there. And then I'm going to put another one right up here. That is your whole card. It's easy to do. It's fun to do. The stamp set is elegantly said. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please do give me a thumbs up. If you have anything you'd like to ask me or tell me, don't forget to leave it in the comments. If you haven't signed up, please subscribe and please tap that bell so you'll get all of my notifications. I hope you all have a great time. Thanks for joining Stamping Up with Gail. God bless. Bye-bye.